okay so hello and welcome back so the we 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 start another course on the c programming language in the previous course we went to we essentially did a couple of things on the c language which you can find on under it under greatitcourses.com and then it and programming learning track and then over here you have the C programming learning track C++ Java and Python we have not started these yet so we, we, we stick to C, the C programming language and then if you the C programming learning track you could find it over here and um, so we have done essentially a course 14 S1 the, the course code is 14 s1 you can download that course and uh, of course you, you you need to start from the beginning of these courses so you need to start from 14 s1 and this the course that we are currently doing is 14 s2 right now in the in basically in um, in the previous course we talked about if clauses and some uh, some very basic things about the C language over here basically what we are going to do now the the material that you that you need for this course what I have done is that I have built the material in in in, in the form of a website so for example if this is essentially the the, the, the folder that you would get 14s2 the folder that you would get along with this with this course when you download this course you would get you will get essentially this this folder and in this folder there is a spreadsheet where you get essentially all of the material related to this course in the exact order that you need to 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 look at them and then there is in the folder notes I have created a website a simple HTML website and you can basically open this website on your on your computer meaning that you can uh, right click on your on, on index.h this is an HTML file as you can see right click on index.html and open it with some browser essentially for example Firefox and Firefox opens and opens the website for you and everything that you need is written on this website I find it much easier for myself at least to write my material in in, in, in a website than to write them in the form of a, um, in a in a word processor document or something like that so I, I'm, I'm doing I'm, I'm using that 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 method now level one is related to um level one is related to the previous course that we did which is 14 s1 level two is related to this course okay and you can see that um, you can see that basically that that and and then when you click on basically level two all of the material that you need here will be will be presented here so you can click on them for example like this and then the, you, you will you will essentially get access to the material right so that's that's basically how you can you can use the course and the material that comes with the course now the the first thing that you need to note is essentially the C logical operators so we will talk a little bit about about the C logical operators, the different ways that you can use them in different programs and so on and so forth. So as an example, um, so first of all, um, the C logical operators, as we have written over here, these C logical operators are used in programming when you want to make decisions that whose outcomes depend upon several conditions. These conditions have to be combined together and in different ways to make the decisions, right? As an example, 
suppose that for example in a program you want to say that for example if an applicant is male and under 25 years of age and has an undergraduate degree then for example make decision one the decision one could be give the, give that the applicant essentially this amount of salary or that amount of salary and so on and so forth if the applicant is female for example above 25 years of age and has a grad has a uh, instead of undergraduate a graduate degree make decision two and decision two could be for example give the applicant this amount of salary and that amount of salary and so on and so forth the decision you can you can specify the decision yourself or if the applicant is female for example above for example 25 years of age and has a graduate degree and also for example married meaning that the marital status is also specified here then make decision number three and you can basically combine these these conditions together in any way that you want right Now, using this, these logical operators, you can combine such conditions as gender, age, qualification, marital, marital status, etc. together and make some decisions, right? Now, there are basically three logical operators in the C language. The, the three logical operators is an AND, there is an OR, and there is a NOT. Right, so there is and, or, and not. And these are denoted by, this is an and, this ampersand, ampersand means an and. Bar and bar put together is an or, and then the not would be represented by, a, by, an, by an exclamation mark. And of course you know that basically for and and or, you need at least two conditions, meaning that... Um, for example, you would say A and B, meaning, uh, for example, A and B, something like this over here. Um, you cannot say, for example, A and this doesn't make any sense. There has to be at least two conditions here. In the exact same way, you can say, for example, A or B, meaning that you need two conditions here. And in the exact same way, again, it doesn't make any sense to say, for example, A or. A or doesn't mean anything, right? Now, for not, you cannot use uh, essentially more than one condition because not essentially what it does is that it negates whatever you attach to it. For example, if A is true, uh, then, for example, not A or not A essentially represented this way would be false and vice versa meaning that if a is true then not a is, 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 is false and if a is false then not a is true right so of course then it for example it makes no sense to say something like for example a not b that doesn't do anything that doesn't mean anything now the truth table for these three logical operators, uh, I've, I've created a simple table over here. So you have A, B, and A and B, A or B, not A and not B, right? So for example, A could be true, B could be true. A could be false, B could be false. A could be true and false, and A and B could be false and true, right? Now, you know that basically the truth table for for and for an and is that if both the conditions are true then then basically an and would be a true if which means that for example if you have true and true put together with an and that would be a true otherwise if any of them is a false then basically a and b would be false meaning that if both of them are false then A and B would be false. If any of them is false, then again, A, A and B would be false. Now, A or B, the way that this operates is that if any of the conditions is true, that the result, which is A or B, is true. Meaning that, and or, or essentially, if, if both of them are true, 
then again A or B would be true. Meaning that, for example, if both are true, then A or B is true. If both are false, of course, A or B would be false. If any of them is true, then A or B would be true, as you can see over here in these two cases. And not A and not B would be the negation of A or B. For example, if A is true, then not A is false. If A is if A is false, then not A would be true. If A is true, then not A is false. If A is false, then not A is true, and so on and so forth. Right? So these are all about basically the different conditions that you can use in your program. Now in the in the example programs that that, that, we, that we will discuss in the pre in the next videos. We will talk about basically how you can actually use these in, in practically in programs so that you know uh, basically the, the exact application of all of these, these different things. So I will see you in the next videos with a couple of simple programs that in those programs we will put together different conditions so as to know basically how to use the, these logical operators in programs. So I'll see you in the next video and thank you.